welcome students here we are going to discuss the topic combination in the previous videos we have seen what is permutation and we have done so many problems uh, from that topic permutations and i hope you might have gone through introduction of permutation as well as exercises that we have already done in previous videos so first of all start with introduction of combinations so we can understand combination as combination is a selection of some or all objects out of given objects okay so combination combination is a selection selection or collection you can say uh, combination is a selection of some or all objects out of given objects okay simply this is selection nothing else okay if total number of objects given is n if number of objects given is n and we have to select we have to select r objects where where r is less than or equal to n out of n objects then this is denoted by n c r okay this is denoted by n c r total number of objects is n and out of the n objects we have to make a selection of r objects r is less than or equal to n because r cannot be greater than n because we have to make a selection of given objects so we cannot make a selection of more objects than given so if r is greater than n if r is greater than n then ncr does not exist there is no meaning of ncr or we can write ncr is equal to 0 because we cannot make a selection of more objects out of less number of objects so that selection will be 0 and the formula which we will use for solving the problem of combinations is ncr that will be equal to ncr is equal to n factorial by r factorial n minus r whole factorial okay so we have to remember this formula this is very basic but very important and useful formula of combination now this is very clear there is some basic difference between permutation and combination isn't it what is the difference between combination and permutation let us make an example and uh, with the help of this example it will be very clear suppose we are having three objects a b c and we have to select two objects at a time okay so in case of combination we will have either ab or bc or ac there will be three possibility of combination but in case of permutation we'll have six options six possibilities of arrangements because as we have discussed permutation is a selection followed by arrangements isn't it so 
in permutation if we select two objects a and b then arrangements will be a b and b a if you select b and c then there will be two, two arrangements b c and c a if you select a and c again there will be two arrangements a c and c a so total number of arrangements is 6 so this is the difference between per combination and permutation this is example of combination this is example of permutation so this is example of 3c2 out of three given objects a b c two objects are selected then number of combination will be three and with the help of this formula we can evaluate it like this three factorial by two factorial 3 minus 2 factorial and 3 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 here this is 1 into 2 into 1 3 minus 2 is 1 factor is 1 so this will be cancel out finally we will get 3 so number of combinations means number of selections in this case is 3 but in permutation number of permutations number of possible arrangements is 6 and we used to write it like this 3p2 and we have already discussed in the chapter of permutations that this will be equal to 3 factorial by 3 minus 2 factorial only so this will be equal to 1 into 2 into 3 divided by 1 factorial 1 factorial means 1 so finally this is 6 so in this case uh, it is very clear that number of permutations is always uh, more than number of combinations because in permutations order or arrangement is considered isn't it but in combination this is simply selection of objects so i hope that introduction of combinations is clear and we have to remember this formula for solving problems of combinations